Hello, this is Pastor Jay. This is Real Talk Weekend. Haven't done it in a while. Uh, something has been on my mind, and uh, I want to talk to you about compromise and capitulation. There's a lot of compromising going on with the word of God, twisting and turning and making it say what you wanted to say. It's just like back in Judges, everyone is doing what they want to do in their own eyes, believing they are doing right. And the way there is, is death, complete separation from God. It is not God just because you say it is. God didn't tell you that because we have something to measure it by. The word of God written for us, the spirit of God put in the print, inspired by God through men, 4,000 years of God's word towards the world and the nations to judge whether what you're saying is of God. Okay. But it's obvious. Can't you see it? You have compromised. You have capitulated to the systems of this world. You want the world to love you. And the Bible clearly tells us if you're chasing after this world, you want the world to love you. Then you are an enemy of God. He says there's nothing in the world but the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye and the pride of life. And God is talking to you. And yet there is no fruit. Just because you are sentimental about a thing doesn't mean it's from God. That's you being sentimental. Ask yourself. Examine yourself. Be real because your soul depends upon it. God's order is God's order and man has corrupted it to fit every culture that has come down for 4000 years and said, hmm, God hasn't punished us, so it must be God. Well, that's a false way to look at something just because we're living, especially now in the time of grace. Don't let grace do a hangman on you. Don't use grace to sin. Don't use your imagination and say that it's God trying to get people to believe in you, follow you and um, co-sign in your compromise and your capitulation and you're surrendering the truth of God for a lie. The Bible is true. The world is getting worse. There is a great falling away and an exchange for the truth for a lie. And yet, week after week, Sunday after Sunday, Saturday after Saturday, Monday through Friday, these false teachers are tickling your ears and you know it. In your heart, you know it. I'm going to give you a benefit of the doubt. And you know it. But it's so attractive. Because what it does is make God a cosmic slot machine. You think, because you, your praise go up, the blessings or the material blessings of God has to come down? Well, let me ask you one question. If you believe in the word of God, if you believe his word is true, show me in the Bible, did the majority of God's chosen prophets escape this world with the world loving them or the world killing them and hating them? I'll wait. I'll wait. What did Jesus say? Jesus talked about Jerusalem and he said, you killed all of my prophets. All of them. Read the Old Testament carefully. Every time a prophet, a true prophet of the of God would come along, the society at the time hated them because they were coming in trying to give them the word of God that was contrary to the way they were living, the way they were thinking, and their mores at the time. And now culture is still trying to hijack the word of God with these implants of people inside the body of Christ. The wheat and the tares are growing up together. You can't tell the difference unless you are called out to be a laborer. One who's a true laborer. One has put himself or herself, they grab the plow and they won't look back. They spend time studying, dissecting, rightly dividing the word of truth, understanding just the fact that there's a right way. There is a wrong way. And the wrong way is the most prevalent way in America today and around the world. You're flocking to these people who are giving you the pie in the sky dreams. But what about the person next to you 
they may not get that. What about the countries where they're praying for just clean drinking water? They're not going to get a big house. They're not going to get a big car. They're not going to get the job of the century. They just want clean drinking water and they're crying out to God for that. And here you come, think that you're being persecuted because you don't have what the neighbor down the street have. Hmm. What's that called? Covetousness. Paul even said that all the other things I did, but when I saw thou should not covet, sin basically became a flame in me. Think about that. Do you think that you're higher than the word of God and what it says and the order of humanity the way God wants it to be? Do you realize that everything was corrupted when Adam fell? That we have to be brought into the new Adam to even see straight that the carnal mind, no matter how sincere they are, cannot understand the things of God, which are spirit and truth. That the gate is narrow. The road is narrow and many will not find it because Jesus is not sitting back waiting for the world to recognize him. Jesus is trying to bring his children into his body as he reconciles everything in heaven and everything on earth unto him. And yet compromise, capitulation to culture is the norm. A lot of people won't like what I'm saying. And that proves it. When everybody loves you, the Bible tells us to beware. It's those of us who are on the wall, who are not really being heard, but by a remnant of people. Because God is always talking about a remnant. A remnant people. Whomsoever will, let them come. Only thing I ask that you do, truly sit down. Get into a line by line Bible teaching church. And just because they read line by line don't mean they properly exposit or exegete the scriptures get into one and I'm sure the scales of your blindness to the culture and your compromise and your capitulation to society will begin to fade and your eyes will be open and once your eyes are open don't turn back it's probably going to be painful it's amazing to me when I hear people in their 70s, in their 80s, once they truly learn the word of God and they say, I never, ever had a relationship with God like this. You can only have a relationship with a person. Think about this through what they say and what they do. God wants you to have a relationship with him through his book. He wants you to have a relationship with him through his book. Don't get caught up in the weeds and you miss the trees and the flowers and the root where God is trying to make you strong because that's what happens. You get caught up. Think about the soils. Think about the soils. And I'm not going to go into it, but again, I just, I just want and pray that those who are spiritual minded in God will listen to this and it will burn in them that they need to get in a good Bible teaching church and that they need to read the word of God and be taught the word of God. You're not going to get it as a long ranger. Yes, you need to read it for yourself. But the Bible says, I, Paul says, I, Paul, teach you, Timothy, to teach others who are faithful. This book, these instructions, these advantages, these benefits are for the faithful. Ephesians chapter 1 tells us we have all spiritual blessings, not some, all. So we need to define that and find out what that is. Because a spiritual blessing is not a material manifestation all the time. But I digress. I just want to come on for a minute and talk to you. This is Real Talk Weekend. Tell you what I've been thinking about. Compromise and capitu capitulation. Is that you? Is that you? God is not a cosmic candy man or a slot machine. Just because you praise him, you're praising him after the fact. 
and you're praising him before the fact. But if he doesn't do anything else for you, isn't he worthy of praise today, right now? Isn't he worthy of you giving the best praise you can because he's been good to you right now? You might not have another breath. You might get to the end of this broadcast and I might get to this broadcast and the praise of God is on my lips now. Not because of what he's going to do based upon what I want. It's based upon what he's done for me and through me up to this very millisecond. God is good. Point blank in the discussion whether he does anything that manifests itself in the material world for me or not. Because there's one thing that God has done that none of y'all can do, that no bank can do, that no job can do, that no amount of, amount of fame can do, is he saved my eternal soul and he loved me enough to go to the cross for me and you that you might be saved if you believe. The Bible says that you are condemned already, ready, because you don't believe. Men prefer darkness. That's you. Yeah, you and me prefer darkness rather than light because our deeds are evil. And you are condemned already because you don't believe. You're not condemned because you're doing something. You're condemned because you're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And you have your own poisons that you have, particularly for yourself. That's your deeds. And it ain't the devil. It's you. And you need to be saved sanctified and full of the Holy Ghost, as they say. But the reality is, the remnant will get this and love this message. And all those who oppose the things of God will find scripture out of context. Like Jeremiah 29, 11. And I understand they had to go into captivity for 70 years. There were people that were born in captivity that got free but there's some people that went into captivity that never came home there were 30 year olds 20 year olds Daniel never made it back to Jerusalem Shadrach Meshach and Abednego never made it back to Jerusalem they died in captivity and that was part of God's plan because he knew the plan he had for them to prosper them in captivity Y'all better wake up. This is Pastor Jay, Walk With Truth Radio Network, Senior Pastor, Walk With Truth Christian Fellowship Church. I always want you to be encouraged, blessed, and at peace. But most of all, stop compromising, stop capitulating, and walk in truth. Peace. Hey, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, and share to the Walk With Truth Radio Network on your favorite prep platform of choice YouTube, Facebook just put in your search engine Walk of Truth Radio Network Peace